Hello friends and welcome back. Today we'll be discussing a case of blepharoplasty. This patient had a very prominent eye bag and eye bags are a very common condition these days and many patients they consult me for their eye bags. So what is an eye bag? Uh, eye bag is protrusion of the fat just under your eyes but over the bone. So there is a bulge just under your eyes which is usually more in the morning and gradually decreases a bit and it usually fluctuates a bit and uh, usually doesn't look really good on your face gives a tired look a very um, sad look to your face as if you haven't taken adequate rest or if you drink a lot and uh, everybody would want this to be removed from their face to look more attractive version of themselves so the treatment for eye bags is mainly twofold uh, one if you have a very small eye bag if it's just the starting you can go for a non-surgical option which is a filler and the other is a surgical option in which if you have a bigger eye bag you need it removed so what is this fat that herniates or that comes out or that protrudes so we have a fat which is supporting our eyeball and if this fat is too much or if the septum or the cover in front of this bag is loose this fat usually protrudes out or herniates out and gives the appearance of an eye bag so all we need to do is reduce the excessively protruding fat and then you can get back the shape of your eyes so there are two major ways by which we can take care of your uh, eye bag this surgery is called as blepharoplasty or lower lid surgery and here in this case I'll explain you this simply with an example of a patient that I had treated and he came to us with huge eye bags and he was uh, really not happy about the huge puffiness that he had below his eyes and we opted for a transconjunctival blepharoplasty or a transconjunctival approach to remove his eye bags and what we do is we initially mark the area where the bags are there so usually this fat is present in three different compartments one is the medial that is the innermost one is the middle or the middle compartment and one is the lateral or on the side so there are three compartments of fat which usually bulges and we mark out the fat that bulges and to confirm that this is the intraorbital fat only it's a very simple test you just ask the patient to look up with his face straight so you try to look up with this face straight the eyeballs they rotate and when they rotate they push the fat out and if your bulges are becoming more prominent while you are looking up it means you have a case of eye bags because of the extra amount of fat so this was a clear cut case of uh, increased fat protrusion so we took decision of taking rid of this or removing these eye bags using a transconjunctival approach. So what exactly is transconjunctival blepharoplasty? Transconjunctival blepharoplasty is nothing but removing the eye bags from inside your eyes. So it is not inside your eyes, it is from inside your eyelid. So we do not give any cut on the skin, so there is no mark, no scar on the skin. The pink portion of your eyelid, that is the inside of your eyelid, it is there we give a small cut and through that cut we approach the eye bags, the fat and we remove only the excess amount of fat we do not remove it too much these are the few surgical steps if you want to see for the next 10-15 seconds you can see the uh, surgical steps in which i am operating on the patient and we have approached the uh, place where the bags are present and we take care of burning the blood vessels that are present near the eye bags and with very uh, very much caution and with very precision we take out the fat as you can see and this is the amount of fat that we have removed. We have just kept the fat over the face to show how much of fat we have removed from each eye and to see the, if we have removed equal amount of fat. And these are the three pockets from which we have removed the fat, the medial, middle and the lateral ones on both the eyes. And in the post-operative period, you will have swelling for at least uh, five to seven days and you need to sleep with your head and elevated at around 45 degree and this are, these are the pictures at around 10 days and how the recovery is and this is his picture by about one month and all the swelling is completely gone by 30 days even improves for up to um, three months and uh, you can see here in the before after pictures how comfortable the patient is how good the results are we have reduced the fat bags by a considerable amount and uh, he looks much more confident he looks let's go yeah
I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time More such videos, thank you